Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to This Just In. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple of the swing trade positions that I took uh, on some of the stocks that I think we're going to have a really nice recovery after this big correction. I'm also going to give you an update on the BFT and Paysafe merger. Uh, the vote just started back on the 1st of March, so we want to make sure we get out there and vote on that. Uh, but let's jump right in. All right, guys, so uh, first things first, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a licensed stockbroker. Always do your own research and due diligence. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, before we get started, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications, hit all so you can stay up to date. I post new videos every day. Uh, then also down in the description, there's a link to my Patreon account. Uh, come join me over there. Come join the family. You'll get an, uh, you know access to the private Discord where we can talk stocks, uh, links to all of my different portfolios so you can see exactly what I invest into. Uh, and then anytime I buy or sell a stock, uh, I send out a notification so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, anytime I have a watch list, uh, you know, anytime I enter a swing trade or anything like that, I send it out so you can see that. Uh, and then also there's a there's a Weeble link down there. Take advantage of that. Deposit 100 bucks, you'll get some free stocks. Uh, and then I get a free stock as well, so it helps support the channel. Um, but let's jump in. Uh, so first thing I wanted to take a look at today, uh, so this is the uh, BFT uh, Foley Trazamine uh, SPAC that is merging with Paysafe. Uh, their merger, uh, the vote date on their merger started on the first of this uh, of this month. Make sure you go out there and vote on it. If you own the stock, uh, any of your brokers, they will send you a, a, an email or a notification to go vote. Make sure you do that so it doesn't end up like ChargePoint and keep getting pushed off. Uh, then also on the uh, on the uh, you know other side of that, if you don't own the stock, I think this is a great opportunity to get in. It's been beaten down really bad. Uh, I think the company has a huge opportunity for growth. Uh, I did do another video where I went way further in depth. I will link it above. Uh, but I think that this is a is 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 a stock that uh, we'll see you know a price that's a lot higher than previous highs once the merger vote is is done it's confirmed they merge and they get rolling with their business i think they will do very well so definitely go check these guys out i actually entered a swing trade on these guys uh yesterday at 1490 i did think we were going to find some support around the 1480 you know mark but it kind of blew right past that uh, looks like it's currently sitting at 1413. So I'm a little bit down, uh, but I do think it will have a nice recovery, uh, you know, over the course of the next, uh, you know, few weeks. Once this correction comes to an head, it's it's done. If we start heading back up towards the upside, uh, I do like this, uh, you know, this price point that it's at. And I do think it will have no problem getting back up here to the $20 mark, $19 mark and above that moving forward. So definitely check out BFT. Um, before we take a look at the other swing trades, I also wanted to kind of show you guys this article. Uh, so recently, we have just been getting beat down on the gross stocks, the EV stocks, and things like that. Uh, I saw this article uh, this morning, and I really liked it. Uh, so pretty much what it said is, is Wedbush Securities tackles the question on if the parabolic run in the share prices of electric vehicle stocks is over. Uh, analyst Dan Ives uh, said our answer is empathetically that the EV party and transformation is just beginning as the industry is on the cusp of a $5 trillion market opportunity over the next decade. With GM, Ford, and now Volvo all jumping into the deep end of the pool on EVs, it speaks to the massive pent up demand globally around the EV technology on the horizon. Uh, it also says, uh, they also said Ives notes that the EV penetration is only 3% today globally and says that the firm forecast it will go up to 10% penetration by 2025 with a green tidal wave on the horizon. So, so the reason why I wanted to show you that guys is because like I said, these EV stocks, these growth stocks have been getting pulverized. They have just been going, they've been, they're down so far. I didn't think they would ever get back down to levels like this, like right here. Looks like Neo's down to or uh, Neo's down to 40 and Xpeng's down to 29 today. That's ridiculous. Uh, that that's crazy. Uh, you know, good prices. I do think that they will see very nice recoveries. Uh, you know, over the course of the next six to 12 months. Uh, you know, these are these are stocks that we are just getting started in this industry. Uh, you know, everybody's freaking out because they're used to massive runs. You know, these stocks gaining 50, 100, 200 percent in in a month or two. 
And unfortunately, that's not how the market always works. And so I think this is actually showing a lot of people uh, that that's not how the market works. And uh, you know, a lot of people are panic selling. And honestly, uh, when you panic sell, there's someone on the other end picking up your your dirt, you know, cheap stocks. So don't sell them. Uh, if anything, buy more. I, I really like Xpeng, really like Neo. Think they will do very well. Last thing on here uh, that I'll read is it just says, uh, from a stock perspective, Wedbush thinks the sell-off in the EV land creates a massive buying opportunity to own the EV or the Chinese EV players like Neo, Xpeng, and Li Auto, as well as the leader of the pack, uh, Tesla, heading into the golden age of EVs. All bullish roads on EV stocks lead back to China. China is the biggest uh, distributor and consumer of EV vehicles right now. So uh, NIO, Xpeng, Li, they're all great companies. They're gonna do very well. We've gotta get out of this correction and they will recover. But if you were to pick up a stock like Xpeng, to just to get back up to previous highs, you're looking at well over 100% uh, in your gains. I don't know when it'll get back there, whether it'll be uh, you know, six months, 12 months, 24 months, but I know it will get back there eventually. Uh, so, you know, take that uh, the way you want it. Uh, like I said, a lot of people are, are panic selling right now. I like that because it, it gave me, you know, uh, it, it gave me some hope. You know, I agree with the article. That's what I've been saying the whole time. So um, last thing we're gonna take a look at is uh, some of the, the swing trades that I've taken the last few days and today. Uh, so I, I made a video about all three of these stocks, so I will link it above. Uh, so I, I took this uh, this swing trade this morning on uh, ACIC Atlas Crest. Uh, I I went a lot further in depth on the actual company, uh, you know, yesterday. So I'll, I'll link that above. Uh, but if you look here, this is like a no brainer for me uh, because when you start looking at the uh, the share price, I mean, I entered at ten thirty two. Uh, it's currently sitting at 1072, so I'm already up a little bit. Uh, this is a SPAC, your downside's 10 bucks. And so 72 cents off the, off the high, or off, the, uh, off the, the price point, and I entered at 1032, I think over the course of the next uh, even six to, to, to 12 weeks, this stock will do very well. I don't know if it'll get all the way back up to previous highs at uh, you know 1860, but I do think it will come back up and uh, at least close these gaps right here, uh, you know, of, uh, you know, 1492. So, uh, you know, these are, this is a, with the space launch, uh, you know, just happening and the, the test flight with uh, SpaceX, you know, space exploration, all of those things are just being more and more dominant uh, as we go through, you know, EV aircraft, EVs like uh, ACIC here uh, is, is, we're just getting into the market. We're just getting into, uh, you know, the, the technology boom, uh, you know, of the electric vehicle, clean energy, and things like that. Uh, so I have no problem either a holding this stock long term, uh, or b taking it as a swing trade and riding it back up to previous highs. I think it, once the merger uh, is closer to the vote, when they vote, uh, the vote's confirmed, uh, you know, and and the merger's completed. You, uh, in my opinion, you will see this stock much further. Uh, above where it is today, especially at the the ten dollar mark. So uh, definitely check these guys out. I had a couple people in the comments ask me what my price target on it was. I don't like giving price targets on stocks like this because I have no idea. Uh, you know, with how crazy spacs go, this thing could jump up to twenty five for all I know, and it could also stay down here and you know ride the ten dollar mark for another six months. I don't know, uh, but. This is what I'm doing. I sent out a, uh, a notification in my Patreon uh, yesterday, right or this morning, right when I bought this one. Uh, you know, so so if you want to check that out and see every time I enter a trink suede or swing trade trink suede, <laughs> uh, swing trade, come join me over there. Uh, next one I uh, I entered was Holicity. Uh, I made a video about this stock as well a few days back, uh, so I will link that one above as well. Um, I did get in this one yesterday at uh, 13 uh, 20, which I thought it was gonna bounce uh, yesterday and uh, it didn't. It actually came down and touched a, uh, a low uh, of 11.90 today, so that would have been nice, uh, but it's all good. Uh, you know, I do think that this is another one that has a lot of opportunity moving forward, especially being in the, the space exploration uh, space launching, uh, you know, industry. Uh, again, I like investing in innovation in the future and things like that. So uh, this was the uh, swing trade I put down right here. 1320 was my entry. Uh, my price target is right up here at about 1830. Uh, but 
depending on how it goes and how the recovery is looking, you know, will depend on how I how I execute the uh, the sell order. Uh, you know, and and I also own some some more shares in my uh, long term portfolio that I do plan on holding for for much longer. Uh, but yeah, I want to just kind of jump on here and show you some of the stocks and how I'm trading this this big uh, sell off right now. Uh, you know, I'm looking for stocks like this that I think will have a nice recovery, will get back up to previous highs, uh, you know, rather quickly. Uh, and then I'm, uh, you know, I'm buying, I'm not selling. So uh, I really like uh, HOL, uh, Holicity. I like Astra. I think, uh, you know, this is a, an industry that will, will boom in the next five years. So, uh, and then uh, the last one I would just wanted to show you was uh, Turtle Beach. Uh, this is a stock I've done very well with. I've also made a video about this stock uh, a few weeks back. Uh, I'm up like 46% on it uh, since I initially bought it. Has been selling off pretty hard the last few days like everything else. Uh, coming down and it looks like it's touching this 100 day moving average so we might see a bounce. Uh, but the reason why I'm showing you this one is because they have earnings coming up today and I think their earnings are very undershot. I think that they are going to blow their earnings out of the water uh, and uh, you know surprise uh, the analyst and I will I do think that you will see some positive upside uh, you know once the earning call comes out this evening uh, depending on how it looks. So uh, that's it for today guys. I just wanted to kind of jump on and show you uh, you know how I'm trading and what are the some of the swing trades that I entered. Uh, I am gonna I did record another video this morning with some uh, you know some recovery stocks in the travel industry that I think will do very well. Uh, so I will also post that video today. Uh, but that's it. If you have any uh, you know stocks that you're buying or any stocks that you like or any uh, ticker symbols you want me to cover, put it down in the comments and uh, come join me at the Patreon. If the video brought you any value, like it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.